Hey everybody, it's your girl Savvy Sav and I'm back with another video. On today, we're going to make smokehouse chicken. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Church's Chicken or if you have one in your town, but this is a delicious dish you don't want to miss. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, to get started, you can take any portion of the chicken you would so desire. I'm going to do the leg quarters simply because this is what Church's Chicken does. They use leg quarters. And if I have time, I said I would throw in a couple of tenders. You will start by basting your chicken with olive oil and then gathering these ingredients. These two right here, Grill Mates Brown Sugar Bourbon Marinade, as well as the seasoning and black peppercorn, these are your star ingredients. We'll get into that in just a minute. Okay, so first, without further ado, let's season our chicken. And you may season your chicken as you like, but these are the seasonings that I use. I started by using some Tony's, and you want to go around and season your chicken very thoroughly. Not too heavy, but thoroughly. If you normally season your chicken on one side and the other side, on both sides of the chicken, this time I would like to submit only some uh, seasoning one good time and working the marinade in. Next, I'm going in with some chicken uh, uh, seasoning from Montreal. It's called Montreal Chicken Seasoning, and it is the goat of all chicken seasoning. Next, I'm going to use some coriander. And before you knock it, try it. This is a really, really good seasoning. And I thought to put this in here to just bring everything together with what I'm doing, especially with the sauce that I'm creating. Some of the ingredients you may have seen on YouTube may differ from the ones that I'm using. I'm simply sharing what I did with my uh, choice of seasonings. Next, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to go in with some Zatarain's Blackened Season. I normally use this on most of my Creole dishes, but I thought because of the spiciness, not so much spice, but the little kick that you get from the sauce, this would be a really good go-to. And it did not disappoint. And again, you want to make sure that you're thoroughly seasoning your chicken. Okay, so of course, we have to use our brown sugar bourbon chicken seasoning. It's not just for chicken, but when I put it to this seasoning, guys, oh my God, it was a great combination of what I used. And all um, seasonings that I use will be listed in the description box along with what I used for my sauce. And please, whatever you do, don't do like your girl, Savvy Sav did, and forget to use your olive oil seasoning. Olive oil seasoning, excuse me, in the beginning. Don't forget the black peppercorn. So now that you got your seasoning, you want to take some marinade. The recipe calls for only one marinade. I purchased two. Okay. So the first um, marinade, I decided to just, you know, just sprinkle onto the chicken thighs because I'm going to work it in anyway, so it's not a certain way you want to do it. I'm simply just squirting it on here because I'm taping and actually doing this at the same time. But feel free to just cut the top of the package off and pour it on or put it in a squeeze bottle, however you so desire. But what you want to do is you want to use this marinade uh, along with the seasonings and then after you get the marinade onto the seasoning use a whisk uh, whisking or basting brush to uh, work it in or like me you can simply use your hands I'm using my hands it's for my family it's not for a customer uh, I don't uh, have any gloves handy uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and work this in with my hand it's for my kiddos and my husband so guess what these are my family members, and we're going to work this seasoning in, and we're going to do a good job with it. Be sure to turn it on the other side. Get that seasoning worked in, because the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put it in the refrigerator for a quick marinade. After you've worked it in, give it a quick marinade for about 30 minutes to an hour, and then you will be ready to fry your chicken. You can put it in a, a bag, or you can simply leave it in your dish 
but it needs to sit, guys, for about 30 minutes to maybe an hour. It could be longer, but of course, at least 30 minutes to an hour. Long enough for your seasoning and marinade to sit. And to after that, and then after that, we're ready to fry chicken. Make sure that you heat a skillet or a stock pot pan, excuse me, with um, vegetable oil or can canola oil, whichever oil you so desire. But um, I use vegetable oil just to use uh, this for this uh, particular chicken. Nice hot skillet is what we're after. Nice hot high skillet. And I use mine on medium high. And uh, after we got that chicken nice and fried, of course, on both sides, we want to make sure that it gives us that golden brown crust. And then after you take it out, let it rest. It's important to let your chicken rest. I, did, I told you I would decide to do a couple of tenders. So, because my daughter loves tenders, guys. She loves, loves tenders. So while we're finishing up the chicken, let's begin to work on the sauce. Here are some simple things that I used. I used honey, I used ketchup, apple cider vinegar, uh, black peppercorn, and some more of that marinade. And again, it will be listed in the description box how much I used to make that awesome, awesome sauce. Let's finish up the frying. So we're on our last piece of chicken here, and this is what it's going to look like once you have Everything rested in the sauce, whipped up, and basted onto the chicken. Oh, my God. Guys, this chicken was delicious. My family loved it, and they were begging for more. So what I did was I had to finish the dinner out, right? So I made my honey butter biscuits, and I added some mashed potatoes on the side. And because I have picky eaters, I did not make any brown gravy. I simply left the mashed potatoes on the side. And I had trimmings of cheese and bacon bits. I have, they wanted to fix it up. And I also put some corn on the cob with it. It was a delicious dish. I hope you guys try it. I hope you love it. Leave it in a picture in the comment section. But again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you love, love this recipe. Stop by your nearest church's chicken if you have one in your city. And if you don't, then try this recipe and I'm sure it will not disappoint. As always, I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Remember, when we get to 500 subscribers, it will be our first giveaway. So again, thank you so much guys for watching. And until the next video, bye.